baby, why don't you smile? You got such a pretty face. Thank you everybody for coming. Uh, we're here today to celebrate the marriage of August and June. Uh, so, May, May, please stop. You're, you're embarrassing yourself like usual. You know what, August? You stop, and can you listen to me for once in your goddamn life? I'm sorry, I know this is the Lord's place and all, but I feel like he'll forgive me for this one. I just want to take a moment. On my wedding day. I congratulate you both. I've been happy for you, June. This is not fair. This is not fair that you get a happy ending and I didn't even get an ending. You left before I can even tell you how I felt. It was like it was some sort of race to you. When things got real, you ran. And now, now you're standing here, ready to get married. You always joked about getting married. But to me, it just wasn't just a joke. Every detail I told you was what I envisioned the future to be like. You forgot about me. It's like I'm a ghost to you. But I'm confused, because who loved you first? I loved you more than I loved myself. I used every ounce of love in my body to love you. I gave you everything, even on the days when I didn't have anything left. I gave you love you didn't deserve. I always wondered if I was, if it was too tough to be around or just, just enough. I apologize for not being the right person for you. I don't make you as happy as June does. I can't help but miss you. You are a terrible boyfriend. When I look back on our relationship, I loved you then. Damn it, I'll probably always love you. But today is my day. Today I chose to love myself. One day I'll find a Prince Charming and we'll probably laugh about this all. But I'm taking back the pressure you did not give me. So cheers. <sighs> cheers to the bride and groom, but also cheers to myself. Oh. 